Hi to everyone, hope you are having an amazing day. This is Jim Young and welcome back to my channel. And this time I'm here in Yima County in northern part of Tibet, Changtang, the frozen land in Tibet, which is 500 kilometers north of Lhasa. And with this awesome chance, I'm going to show you the beautiful winter of northern Tibet. And I will try my best to share you all my experience of what I see, what the local people do here in this Changtang, the frozen land in northern tibet and i hope that you will like my video and first i'm gonna visit this famous monastery that we have in northern part of tibet and to go to this monastery we couldn't drive there so we must have to walk onto this frozen lake to reach to the monastery and this lake is absolutely safe to walk the thickness of this ice is at least like three to four meter the temperature now here is about minus 22 and the altitude here is 5,000 meter. So beautiful here. And if you want to visit Tibet during the winter times, you actually don't have to worry about getting coldness, you know, because we have a really, really strong sun in Tibet. If you don't come during the winter time, you'll miss this beautiful frozen land in Tibet. Right, now I'm here at the monastery, the gate of the monastery. And here we can see the name of the monastery, Zimbuk Monastery. I heard that this monastery is one of the most famous monastery that we have in northern part of Tibet. And this monastery, they follow the Nyingmaba sect. And I don't have that much knowledge to tell you about Zimbuk Monastery. So let's go and ask the nuns or the monks in this monastery. Wow, beautiful. This is absolutely a right place for monks and nuns to stay here because there's no one here disturbing them. And it's so quiet, peaceful.
Let's I really enjoyed their warm tea. So to thanks for their warm tea, I would like to share them some of my fruit. <laughs> the tea is so warm and so delicious and that made me really warm and now let's go and walk inside the village bye bye, bye, -bye. yo bye bye, bye, -bye. yo bye -bye. near the village they also have a small place here that they can do the praying. This is where they are making the Kora. And I just saw a grandpa over there. He's also making Kora. Right. That was a wonderful walk with this old man they just have told me that we can find a hot spring so i'm gonna walk inside this valley to find a hot spring Whew. just absolutely a wild hot spring and now I'm gonna enjoy this hot spring and let's see how warm this hot spring is So beautiful. It was a wonderful hot spring. I really enjoyed it so much. And I spent like one hour in this hot spring. And this is super beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> right the hot spring is like really perfect makes my body so warm super beautiful and if you're visiting tibet i'm surely gonna take you here to enjoy this natural hot spring with me
there I can see some children playing on the ice. Let's go and play with them. Now I'm here in this Arto village. Now I'm gonna find a restaurant so that I can have a lunch in this small village. Outside the restaurant, they also have a lot and lots of goat enjoying their lunch. <laughs> wow, I looks like Genghis Khan. <laughs> The people here are having really simple life, no tensions, they don't have to scare off any disease, just like enjoying their life here, so simple, so beautiful. I'm gonna show you the restaurant. <sighs> Bless it. Just the late. Come, sir. Just the late. Shh. Oh, that's a sheep pool. You see the temperature now in the restaurant is minus 19, and everything here is frozen. The windows. So see this big stove makes all the restaurant really really warm. And now here comes my sweet tea. Mm, that's a stupid sheep milk sweet tea. I just ordered the lunch. Uh, it might take a little time and now I'm gonna walk inside this village Groko village Here comes my lunch. See, that's an original yak meat from 5,000 meter. Mm. She cooked it really tasteful. I'm quite lucky that I also found a really warm restaurant with so tasteful, typical Tibetan yak meat lunch. <laughs> My friend is back and now he's going to offer me some local nomad food of Changdang. I mean, it's so friendly, the people here. Yeah. Wow. Shoot. So he just offered me a homemade bread. Homemade bread. Mm -hmm. And a fat. 
That's a really, really tasteful meat. I'm quite lucky, you say. Wherever I go, I meet friends and they're really nice to me. A cup of tea here was 5 yuan and a plate of yak meat lunch as a 30 yuan. So I paid like 35 plus his tea. I paid like 40 in total. And that was really, really beautiful. And I really appreciate his offer. So that's the view of frozen land in Changdang, the northern Tibet. It is so quiet and so peaceful here. And I really wish or recommend you from the bottom of my heart that please come to Tibet in the winter time to enjoy the view of this frozen land, Changdang, the northern Tibet. Welcome to Tibet, guys. I mean, it's so beautiful. There's no word to explain how beautiful this frozen land in Tibet. And please, please support me through giving likes, subscribe, comment. And if you found this video interesting, please don't forget to share it to other people. This is Jamyang. Welcome to Tibet. We are the one that can show you original Tibet.